what is up and welcome back to my channel. So on my channel, we like to play this game where I try to guess your name. Here are the list of names that I've guessed in previous videos. And here are today's names. Maria, Rhea, Lizzie, Callie, Brianna, Tatiana, Omara, Adrian, Becca, and Cameron. Let me know if I just guessed your name or if I've guessed your name in previous videos. And if I haven't yet, I definitely leave some comments down below because that's where I get all my names. All right, so today's video is a continuation of my 25 DIY series. Now all my 25 DIYs lately have been surrounding Christmas, but by the time you're seeing this, Christmas has already passed or it's kind of too close to Christmas to make another 25 DIY gifts a video. So I wanted to continue the series, but do some other popular topics such as slime. So for these videos, I share with you guys 25 DIYs. I have them all linked down below. So these ideas are for people who are just trying to look for a DIY they want to make, but they don't want to spend all that time online. And I just kind of give you a condensed version of all of them. And I try to find really cool DIYs that maybe you haven't seen before. Now I have to say for slime, it's a little bit difficult. I feel like if you're really, really into slime, maybe you have already seen some of these before, but because there's 25, I guarantee you, you haven't seen all of those. Let me know in the comments down below which other 25 DIY videos you want me to make. I would love to hear from you because now that Christmas is over, I need some more ideas. So just a heads up, because all these DIYs are slime, I feel like my commentary is probably gonna be a little bit shorter, so just giving you a heads up, but I'm sure maybe a lot of you guys will like that better. Also, do not forget to subscribe because I have a sign, what's up? My channel is Savannah and Stuff, in case you are new here. I'm Savannah, and I talk about stuff. All right, so give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb, and let's get into it. Crystal slime. So the actual name of this is Gilly Bath. I have no idea what that is, a very weird name. So I just decided to call it crystal slime because it actually looks like crystals and this slime is seriously beautiful. It looks like those crystals that I would have made way back in like a science class and you have the string and the pencil and you hold it in a glass. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about there. Duochrome slime. So this slime is super cool because you have a couple of different colors going on and depending on how the light hits the slime, it's just gonna look a little bit different. Very fun. Scented slime. So it looks like for this DIY, they use some different kind of Kool-Aid packets to add some different scents in there. Now for slime, a lot of it probably smells like glue, shampoo, which isn't that bad, but you know, glue doesn't smell the best. So I think that it could be really fun to make slime that actually smells good. Polka dot slime. So this slime is just different. You know, it is not your traditional slime. Hello. Galaxy slime. So this slime is a very popular slime, 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 slime. Instead of actually going out to outer space, you know, and taking a trip to the moon like you've been planning for a year, but it's expensive. Why don't you just bring the galaxy to you in a bowl on your kitchen table? Way easier. Glow in the dark slime. So this could be a fun project to make and it would be actually really fun to make this at night. Maybe this could be a fun like sleepover activity. When I was younger, I remember my sister had these like glow in the dark stickers on her wall and they were just of like stars and moons and I thought that it was so cool. So yeah. Golden glitter slime. So this slime is fancier than the others. You know what I mean? It is golden, it shines. So if you are a fancy person or you just wanna pretend like you are, this is the slime for you. Ocean swirl slime. This is really cool because you're mixing some blues and greens together and it just looks really, really pretty. It could be fun to make this and then add in some different seashells, some different like trees, anything that's kind of beachy. I guess trees aren't very beachy unless they're palm trees, but you know. Toothpaste Orby slime. Now I've seen a lot of different Orby slime DIYs online. Apparently people are like really, really into it. They just have like a really cool texture to them. Rainbow Neon Slime. So to make this, they just kind of made different batches of slime of different colors and then they just combined it all. So I don't really know how long this one would last in terms of like the rainbowness. I just feel like eventually everything would just kind of mush into each other, but nonetheless, super fun. Minion Slime. So on the website, they kind of frame this as like party favors. So I think that would be really, really cute for kids to make this like yellow slime and then give it to everyone in a minion jar. I feel like my nephew would absolutely love this for his party. 
chocolate slime. So this slime is supposed to smell like chocolate, which I am totally into, you know, anything chocolate scented is my thing. For example, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and that thing smells like chocolate and I am totally into it. And also I saw on Twitter that there was like this baby who ate their mom's makeup palette because it smelled like chocolate, I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't go that far, but then again, maybe I would. Gooey slime. So this one just kind of has a different texture to it, you know what I mean? Depending on what kind of ingredients you add, there's definitely different textures to it. So if you just want to try out something different, this is the DIY for you. Natural edible slime. I really like this idea personally because I know a lot of slimes have like different ingredients that aren't healthy for you. So the idea of making an edible natural slime is very exciting. Rubber slime. So again, this one kind of has a different texture to it, so it's just something different to try. And I'm sure that it would feel pretty cool. Pumpkin spice slime. So although fall has passed, especially for Canada because we've had some snow and it gets colder here quicker, this is still a really cool DIY to make, especially for someone who's like very into pumpkins. And the packaging is really cute. Silly string slime. All right, so this is another kind of slime that is super, super cool. It's very different, you know what I mean? I remember silly string as a kid, and I was a very good kid, so I wasn't like whacking anyone with silly string, but I definitely like witnessed some silly string fights. Sunset slime. So this is another slime where you're just combining a few different colors, and this one's very pretty because it looks like a sunset, so it has reds and oranges. Color changing slime. So this slime will change colors once you're handling it, which I think is really, really cool. I guess there's some sort of like heat activated technology. So this is definitely more of like a sciencey slime. Flome slime. All right, so this is one that I would probably wanna make because I felt flown before and it just has like a really, really cool texture. So I don't know, I think that this could be like a really cool anti-stress slime. Orby stress ball slime. I guess I spoke too soon about the whole like stress reducing thing because this one is specifically for that. So this slime is to just bring down your stress levels, you know, because we can all be stressed sometimes. Star confetti slime. This one is actually really great to make for New Year's. I know that that is just around the corner. It actually might be really fun to make this for a New Year's party and even just like put it in little mason jars and give it out as party favor. Magnetic slime. So this slime is another sciencey one. It would be great to make in like a science class. I don't know. Also, I wonder if you stuck the slime on your fridge, what would happen? Like, would it stick? Sand slime. I feel like this slime would feel really good just because sand has kind of like all those granules that would like exfoliate your skin. And also because it's the winter time, it can bring a little bit of summer in your life. Unicorn Rainbow Slime. This slime is definitely the prettiest on the list. It's probably been going around online quite a bit, but it's definitely for a good reason. This one is one of my favorites. Let me know in the comments down below which slime was your favorite, and if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. I put out a ton of videos, especially 25 DIY videos. Also, let me know in the comments which other types of 25 DIY videos you would like to see. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.